Hi there, and welcome to this day in history for February 27th. February 27th is the 58th day of the year in the Gregorian calendar, with 307 days remaining until the end of the year, unless it's a leap year, and then there are 308 days remaining to the end of the year. Yesterday's word was pareidolia, the phenomenon of seeing faces in random ordinary objects. Several of the descriptions I read about pareidolia in doing that research also mentioned apophenia. Apophenia. So today's word is apophenia. Apophenia is a noun that means the tendency to perceive a connection or meaningful pattern between unrelated or random things, such as objects or ideas. Apophenia can be considered an ordinary effect of brain function, but taken to extreme, it can be a symptom of psychiatric dysfunction, like, say, for instance, paranoid schizophrenia. A little bit of apophenia can be interesting and even entertaining, but it can turn into a situation where one might weave complete coincidences together into an apparent plot. I've actually known people that do that. Another way apophenia can become troublesome is with gamblers, where they might imagine they see patterns in the numbers that appear in lotteries, card games, or roulette wheels, where, unfortunately, no such patterns exist. As you might imagine, this can certainly prove troublesome. Concepts related to apophenia include patternicity, agenticity, and clustering illusion, or clustering illusion. Apophenia is another word that comes to us from German and Greek before that. First known use of the word apophenia is 1999. And with that, let's get started by saying all the birthdays happened yesterday. No one was born on this day ever throughout history. No birthdays on the 27th. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. No, we've got some good birthdays today also. On February 27, 1807, this is the birthday of American poet and educator Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. His works include Paul Revere's Ride, Hiawatha, or the Song of Hiawatha, and Evangeline. He lived to the age of 75. February 27, 1827 marks the beginning of a now famous tradition of Mardi Gras in New Orleans when an impromptu parade erupted. February 27, 1844, the Dominican Republic declared independence as a sovereign state. This is the birthday of Greek, Egyptian, English, Olympic tennis player Xenophon Kazdaglis, born February 27, 1880. Now, I must be honest, I don't follow tennis. But what a great name, Xenophon, Cas Douglas, Xenophon. <laughs> I'm gonna guess he was named after Xenophon of Athens, who was an ancient Greek historian, philosopher, soldier, mercenary, and student of Socrates. Xenophon. If I ever get another cat, I'm gonna name it Xenophon. On February 27, 1922, the Supreme Court unanimously declared the 19th Amendment to the United States Constitution constitutional. <laughs> this is the one that says the right of citizens of the United States to vote shall not be denied or abridged by the United States or any state on account of sex, thereby granting women the right to vote. The 22nd Amendment to the United States was ratified on February 27, 1951. This is the one that limits U.S. presidents to two terms. And that's all I have for you today. As always, links to my research are included in the show notes. Thank you so much for watching. Give it a like if you enjoyed this video. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time. Just read that over. <laughs> so many mistakes. We're not going to go into all that. Okay. I don't know how all that's going to go together or if it's even going to make it to the video. We'll just see.
That's not gonna go. Probably cut all that out. That'll all be laying on the cutting room floor. <laughs> so I'll just do that whole thing over. <laughs> that might not make it into video, we'll see. Changing it up. 